Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the DS analytical reasoning interview that typically comes up during the metadata scientist loop. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of what to expect in this interview, what your interviewers are looking for, and a couple of tips on how to prepare for it. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by metadata scientists who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website for direct booking if you're looking for more personalized guidance. Okay then, moving on to the interview. The analytical reasoning interview is a deep dive into your ability to tackle complex challenges. Meta essentially wants to know how well you navigate the complexities of data analysis, experiment design, and communication. This means formulating a structured, rigorous approach to validate assumptions, choosing the right data sets, gathering meaningful insights, and then communicating them via metrics. Basically, you need to show you can drive impactful decisions from the realm of data science. There are eight focus areas to this interview, as I'll discuss ahead. I'll also provide tips on how to address preparation on each front. So, let's get down to it. The number one focus area is can you bring clarity to vague or complex problems commonly encountered in product development? This one is about navigating unclear or broad problem statements. So, for example, you might get a curveball like, how can we improve user engagement for X product? Your task would be to structure the ambiguity into a concrete plan of action. To begin with, I suggest you break the problem down into digestible chunks. What's the user acquisition strategy? How about retention tactics? Then, for each, chart out a tactical plan that is clear, concise, and impactful. Number two focus area, how skilled are you at crafting experiments to test hypotheses? So, let's say the question goes something like, how will you assess the impact of introducing feature Y on user engagement? To tackle this, kick off with a crystal clear hypothesis. What's the feature aiming to achieve? Then map out the variables to measure, define success metrics, and structure the control and test groups with surgical precision. Make sure you're well versed with the fundamentals of experimental design, including formatting clear hypotheses and defining measurable variables. Dive into real world examples and practice creating experiments tailored to specific business objectives. Now on to number three. Can you identify which data sets are most apt for answering specific product related questions? Meta wants to see if you can cut through the noise and pinpoint the data sets that truly matter. So, let's say they want you to optimize the onboarding process for a company. Here, you need to figure out what data sets hold the keys, user behavior data, interaction logs, survey results, and then tailor your data selection to the essence of the question. Moving on to number four, are you mindful of potential downsides and biases in the analysis of your experiments? Here, critical thinking is key. Spell out the downsides and biases you anticipate, and more importantly, how you plan to navigate them. For instance, if you're asked to analyze user feedback, you could likely point out the potential bias in sentiment analysis and suggest incorporating qualitative insights for a more comprehensive view. Number five, can you draw meaningful conclusions from a given data set? Don't just present raw data. Interpret trends and patterns and show that you can derive actionable insights from the data set. Something like, my analysis shows that spending more time on a feature could positively impact overall product satisfaction or revenue. Here, you need to get familiar with statistical methods and data visualization techniques to effectively interpret trends and patterns and derive insights for success. Practice with case studies and data analysis challenges, which will expose you to these diverse data sets. Number six, how good are you at integrating information from various sources into a cohesive and data-informed statement? Suppose you're tasked with evaluating the impact of a new feature. You have user feedback, engagement metrics, and market trends at your disposal. Your job is not just to present these elements, but to craft a unified, comprehensive statement. 
Merge the quantitative findings with qualitative insights, ensuring they complement each other. Now, moving on to number seven. Can you bridge the gap between analytical findings and real-life product impact? They'll likely throw in a challenge like, your analysis suggests users engaged more with feature A. How does this translate to the success of the product overall? It's about making the data speak the language of product impact. So if feature A is indeed the star of your analysis, eludicate how its success ripples through the broader product landscape. Increased user satisfaction, boosted retention, or even spikes in revenue. Now, this brings me on to the final aspect of the analytical reasoning interview. How effectively can you communicate your decision-making process through metrics? Evidently, your communication is key here. It needs to be crisp, precise, and most importantly, driven by the hard numbers. Whatever it may be, customer acquisition costs, lifetime value, or conversion rates, and so on. So, they were my eight tips to tackle the analytical reasoning round. As you can imagine, this interview can be complicated, often taking unexpected turns. So, practicing beforehand is very important here. My suggestion is to partner with a Meta DS. You'll find several on our platform. Check out the link in the description box. It's the closest thing to being in the Meta hot seat, which can prepare you for any curveball they throw your way. You'll get an actual interview-like experience, plus you'll receive constructive feedback from experts to identify areas for improvement and ultimately ensure you are well prepared for the unpredictable nature of the interview. Well, that's all from me. I've linked to a bunch of useful resources for the Meta DS interview in the description box below. Do check them out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully. And we hope you totally rock your interview.